It's minter time. You heard me, fast foodie nation. We have moved away from pumpkin season and we have entered minter season. What's minter, may you ask? Minter is a time of year when everything is mint flavored. It's typically between end of November, beginning of March-ish, usually till the end of February or so. Now, not only is everything mint or flavored, it's more along the lines of, you know, peppermint or in today's case, candy cane flavored. That's right. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new peppermint flavored milkshake from the one and only Five Guys. I'm pretty sure this is called the Candy Cane Crush milkshake. Now, Five Guys usually doesn't come out with too many new items. That's why they're not often featured here on the Fast Foodies because here on the Fast Foodies, we're all about trying the newest, the latest, the greatest snacks, ice cream, cereals, and fast food items. But when I heard that Five Guys came out with a brand new milkshake to celebrate this time of year, I thought, why not make my way on over and let you guys all know if it's worth your time, money, or your calories. Now, along with this Candy Cane Crush milkshake, there are going to be loads loads of new and exciting minter flavored items so to make sure you don't miss out on all the reviews that i'm going to be dropping make sure to hit that subscribe button but back to this candy cane crush milkshake you can get a few more mixins i'm pretty sure you can get like oreos uh mallow cream you can even get double stuffed oreos however i wanted to review the milkshake as is as it comes so I just went with the regular candy cane mix-ins for today's review. However, if you want me to review one of the different variations, let me know which one. And maybe, maybe I'll make my way back on over and try it out. All right. Now to try this out, I am going to need a, uh, well, I'm going to need something. Um, let me, uh, let me see what I have. Here we go. Found a little, actually, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a spoon. I have a Baskin Robbins tasting spoon. I don't know if this is allowed, but you know, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Using a Baskin Robbins tasting spoon for a Five Guys milkshake. It's ice cream at the end of the day though, right? Come on. All right. Okay. So I'm trying to, you guys can obviously see that there's candy cane crushed on top. I'm trying to dig a little bit more into the milkshake to see if there's candy cane spread throughout the milkshake and not just on top. It looks like they did a pretty darn good job though. Here's a little spoonful from the center. I dug all the way down to the center of the milkshake. <laughs> this is good it's definitely candy cane and not mint there is a difference don't try to tell me that there isn't this is definitely a candy cane milkshake and what it looks like they did here as you guys can see the pieces of candy cane are on top like right here so the textual component of this milkshake is on top you get the piece of candy cane on top Within the milkshake, however, it's just the flavor. I'm not sure if you guys can, you guys probably can't see, but there are not any pieces of the candy cane within the milkshake itself. I kind of wish they did spread pieces of candy cane throughout the entire milkshake, just so you have a little bit of crunch no matter where you are in the milkshake, not just on top. That being said, however, the peppermint flavor, or candy cane flavor rather, is there a difference between peppermint and candy cane. I know there is between mint and candy cane, but peppermint, I feel like peppermint is candy cane. Let me know down below. Yeah. That candy cane flavor, it is delicious. It's not too strong, not too overpowering. Nice strong vanilla flavor as well. I'm not too sure how this would go with Oreos just because of the chocolate component, but man, you know, adding like, <laughs> like marshmallow fluff into the middle of this that would be something else. 
as is, however, this is a, yeah, a strong start to Minter season. Ooh, you know what I actually may do? I know that Subway has a new, I think it's like a five or it's like a foot long peppermint candy cane cookie. I may get that, you know, dunk it in here. See what it's like. Anyway. Oh, I still got to give it a rating for ratings. 8.5 out of 10. Almost went with a 9. But as I said, it's just the start of Minter. We still got a long ways to go. Don't want to be handing out 9s quite yet. But if you guys enjoyed this review, let me know down below what you guys saw. If you tried it. And we'll see ya in the next one. Mmm. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.